Please tell us your name, where you're from, and what do you do? My name is Jessica Peek, and I am a grad student at the University of Dayton, leading a group of college students here this week. Why did you choose Belize to volunteer? I chose Belize because um, so the University of Dayton has come uh, to uh, Children's Home for the past few years and have really great relationship. And I was really excited to learn more about the culture and experience of people of Belize. How was the U.S. communication prior traveling? I was really happy with the amount of communication we had from a broader view and from the Liberty Children's Home. Um, it helped me feel safe and know that the um, people here would be really um, helping us make this the best experience. How was the service the local staff and coordinator provided to you while in Belize? Everybody here has been so helpful and so friendly. It's made me feel very comfortable and it gives me a lot of hope that the children here are growing up in a great environment. What was a typical work day like? Um, a typical work day um, <laughs> doesn't really exist. There's a lot of different needs that happen, but we always helped with chores, whether it's cooking, cleaning, um, we did some projects like painting um, and gardening, um, but really just being open to whatever is needed that day. What was the most surprising thing you experienced while volunteering in Belize? I think I was a very just, just surprised to see how much effort goes into um, creating an institution uh, for children that's more than just an institution, that's a home. Um, the staff put a lot of effort into making this place um, a really special environment. Tell us a bit about your accommodation and meals. Uh, we had dorm style um, rooms that aren't much but um, are enough to get you through the night. Um, and the meals were a lot of rice and beans and chicken, um, but all really good. What was the most challenging thing you experienced while volunteering in Belize? <laughs> the most challenging thing would probably be the mosquitoes. There are a lot of them. What type of donation can other volunteers bring for the program? Um, the most helpful thing to bring would be um, money donations um, and your time. Are you willing to speak to other potential ABV volunteers? Yes, I would love to talk to people. Any tips for future volunteers coming to Belize? Um, make sure you bring an open heart um, and be ready to just do whatever you can to help the children here. Thank you for volunteering in Belize and we hope to have you back with us soon. Thank you.